My dear brothers and sisters, perhaps one of the most fascinating things about Jesus is that every person who has an encounter with Him always ends up with new life. Of course, the bottom line is the faith of that person. We can see in today's Gospel the healing of the centurion servant as well as Peter's mother-in-law. New life given to them so that they can continue to give praise and glory to God and to work for God's kingdom here on earth. And we know that both these would have done that, the servant as well as Peter's mother-in-law. Each one of us, my dear brothers and sisters, suffer from some illness or the other. Could be physical, could be emotional, could be psychological, could even be financial. And we are in need of this new life, perhaps a new and a fresh beginning. And this can only happen when we encounter Jesus. We need to come to Him with whatever our ailment is, pleading, knowing well that He alone can make us well again and restore us to that newness of life that all of us are seeking. I pray in this Eucharistic celebration that each one of us come to the Eucharistic Lord with whatever our problem is, whatever we are going through in life at this point of time, knowing that the Lord indeed will bring healing and restore us to newness of life. Even though our words every day at the Eucharist are the same as that of the centurion. Lord, I'm not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only say the word and I shall be healed. So much in just one word that comes from Jesus. May every encounter we have with the risen Lord bring about this newness of life that he wants to offer to you and to me. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.